So today we're going to look at the plant and animal cells and compare and contrast these two types of eukaryotic cells. So to start off with, let's have a look at, in more detail at the plant cell and the organelles associated with it. Okay, so we'll start off with having a look at this organelle here. This is known as the nucleus and it contains the genetic material, the DNA, which is required to provide coded instruction to the cell. It's basically the information carrier of the cell. And then we, moving along, we have the this green organelle known as the chloroplasts. So plants, um, of course, are autotrophic. They make their own food. So chloroplasts contain the pigment chlorophyll, which gives it its green color, and also enzymes necessary for the production of glucose by photosynthesis. This blue organelle here is known as the mitochondria, and the mitochondria um, releases energy through aerobic respiration. And large numbers of mitochondria indicate a large amount of respiration occurring. This large vacuole here, this purple vacuole, is an, also an organelle, and that contains the water necessary to provide pressure. It can also store ions and molecules. And if we can also see here this organelle here next to the nucleus, that is known as the rough endoplasmic reticulum, and that contains, or on its surface it has pro uh, uh, an organelle known as a ribosome, which allows proteins to be made by the cell. We also have um, these little uh, organelles here, which are starch molecules, which are how carbohydrates are stored. So looking at the surface of the cell, around here, we have, of course, the cell membrane. And the cell membrane allows, um, surrounds the cytoplasm, this, the, the gray liquid, which we can see on this diagram here. And it controls entry and exit of certain substances from the cell. And fi um, finally, we have the cellulose cell wall, which is around the membrane. And that provides structural support and protects against damage caused by osmotic intake of water. And the cell wall, which is made of cellulose, of course, is unlike the cell membrane, freely permeable to water and any dissolved substance. So that, in a nutshell, is your plant cell. So if we go back and now focus on the animal cell, if we get it to just stop a while. We go with stop. We, go. we can now look in a bit more detail at the animal cell. So animal cells, of course, are heterotrophic in nutrition and also have lots of metabolic activity. So we have these, well, it's very hard to see, these, there we go, these little secretory vesicles, and they can tell, contain cell products like waste or maybe glucose coming into the cell, and they're much more common in animal cells than pl uh, plant cells. But like the plant cell, you can see in the center there's this gray jelly-like substance, um, the cytoplasm, which is often denser and contains all the organelles and dissolved substances in the cell. So also pointed out is that all animal cells, just like in plant cells, have mitochondria, which provide the energy from aerobic respiration. Uh, they also have the endoplasmic reticulum, which... Uh, is where the ribosomes are found for protein synthesis, just like in plant cells. They also have a nucleus, uh, where the instructions for the cell are found. And they also have glycogen. No, they have glycogen instead of um, starch, where the carbohydrates are stored. So, in terms of Going back to comparing and contrasting these two cell types, these two eukaryotic cell types, let's just summarize the differences between the two types of cells. Okay, so the main differences 
between plant and animal cells are based around the plant cells' heter uh, sorry, autotrophic um, way of getting energy. So the first thing is that, unlike animal, unlike plant cells, animal cells do not have cell walls. Only plant cells have cell walls. Two, only plant cells have chloroplast because of course they're autotrophic and three the final point is that unlike uh, animal cells plant cells have a large central vacuole which allows them to regulate their shape unlike that of the animal shell cell which cannot actually regulate its shape because it doesn't have that that cell wall which is giving it its, its shape in conjunction with the large central vacuole. So that essentially is the difference between plant and animal cells. So hopefully that will assist you in this course.